every time you're close, and then the further you go back, the colors start changing. So yellows and reds, yellows will go first. So all your warm colors are here. Notice the yellows in here, but as you go back to there, notice the blue, blue greens. So it's, it's giving you depth. And the reason why you do that is you don't want your painting to look like it's gonna fall off. You wanna walk into the painting. This is really cool. If you take your primary colors here, okay, and then take your opposites, and then mix those two, you get your browns. So you can do all the colors in the wheel with the three colors. should be able to flop in your hand very loosely. Go like this, instead of up and down, two little circles. There you go. Your bottom needs a little more blue and yellow down there. You're too warm. But you notice, like like right here, I have a little dark, and then you see that pink pop out. Okay, so you want you want a shadow under the flower. Look at these patterns of these trees, because as it goes higher, the darks get lighter. So this is where you're going to use some of your your blue greens and you're going to add a little more white and a little more blue to get that reflective light coming off the top. Okay. Oh, as you go to the sky, you never see the sky comes through.